and welcome to the Confound Millennial, starring Stephen Servin Michaels and featuring my friend and yours, Ryan Diamonds! Hey, you found me. I found you. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> How'd you know I was going to be on here? <laughs> I just had a feeling. A feeling. What was happening? I get a good feeling. Mm, I do like that one. It's a good jam. <laughs> just a reminder, the uh, Confound Millennial is brought to you today by the Confound Gathering, my business in which I sell trading cards. Because something needs to fuel this podcast, damn it. Merch. I'm telling you, clickbait. I got merch. <laughs> yes, buy the merch. I put pictures of you shirtless everywhere, man. The money's if that coming. Clickbait enough. <laughs> uh, I might turn folks away. That's not good. <laughs> I went camping with some buddies, and one of them's like, ooh, stand in front of this. Like with your shirt off, it's like okay. He said, "I do this all the time with my wife." I'm, I'm, I'm not your wife, but I'll pose. <laughs> I'm not above posing. <laughs> and now we have Sturvin, the Confound Millennial, That's him. trading card. We have Humble Beginnings, our podcast mic trading card. Sturvin's Pride Mates, my cat's trading. Draw card. that one. <laughs> no. I actually used a photo editing app for all of them. I like it. And then oh. now we have Diamonds, the reliable human podcaster co-host. That's me. Oh, dear Huckleberry. <laughs> I think I've I said that. <laughs> you've said that many times. Well, I just try to be. I was trying to decide between using that or... You saying as long as I get to wear a speedo, <laughs> there can be another one. You could do the one with the uh, the beach scene. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the plan is if I ever start selling these to have multiple sets of them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a nice well, idea. Uh, I like it. I like it. So are you gonna no, do like a podcast no. version of Magic the Gathering? Oh yeah. <laughs> And uh, I don't have the back to it, but the back of it, the card looks like a Magic the Gathering card, but it says uh, the Confound Millennial and has the logo on it. That makes sense. That makes sense. You should have um, viewers instead of land or, or you know, listeners. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on, I'm thinking about getting some for the Confound Gathering because when I make, when I sell something five dollars or more i draw them a proxy which is a fake card of the card that they ordered i've seen these <laughs> and uh i sadly forgot to load any pictures of them but they're horrible <laughs> and i include a little note with it saying i don't know why you would want this but i decided to send this with it anyways well, and it's like uh, you know the artist people like it people like I'll, free shit definitely and, uh, so i uh i'm trying to make i'm trying to decide whether to keep doing what i've been doing taking a regular i take land cards which are worth nothing mm -hmm. and i just take a um flash card put it over it cut it draw on it but i'm deciding whether or not i want to order cards with my logo on it maybe small in the corner or on the back on the back okay well, i think yeah, it'd be I good draw on the front mm -hmm. get your but name out there advertising hey, viewers <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Nothing wrong with that. I haven't really been able to talk about it because I've had all these episodes lately with all these guests on since I yep. started selling the cards. Well, what kind of guests? Let's talk about it. Uh, I've had, let's see here. What? 
What imaginary day is it? I don't even know when this is going to release. I think this is Saturday. It's Saturday. Yep. Sure is. Yeah. I think this is Saturday. So, uh, this week, um, you know, I had Mike Mule from mm-hmm. Wheat Beef PR Agency. I like that name. Uh, and then I'm, I was really excited about love. Always love getting to talk to the boys in the home team. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Very excited that I got to premiere a 15 second clip of their next upcoming single. I'm excited. Yes, we are both retrospectively excited because this is not being recorded before that. Oh, <laughs> it's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday. All right. Saturday night's all right for fighting. Oh, that's a good one. It's Billy Joel. <laughs> but one thing you hadn't uh, been around a lot to know is it used to bug my old co-hosts to no extent. Like I will just burst out into song all the time. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with and that. You just, you just say a word and it just makes me think a a lyric, I'll go into it. That's it. I had a boss. Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. I swear. Every time he talked to me this entire day, it was lyrics from a song, Eagles, Bon Jovi, something. So every time he's like giving us a serious talk, I'm just, coming up singing it back to him it, john that's enough <laughs> all day long it was incredible just a spot down girl now why would my boss say that <laughs> there's only one reason he wants you to sing i think that was the secret Shh. his name was dick joiner i learned something new about you today What's that? You are the proud owner of a bidet. Oh, man. I love it. Uh, technically, a biffy. Oh. <laughs> it still squirts your booty. I like it. <laughs> My brother in law really, he, he doesn't even wear underwear because he swears it cleans his booty that good. And so, uh, what was it, Christmas last year? My mom got me one that he told her I would like. I don't know why my brother in law would know what I'd like squirting my booty. Anyway, I do like it. I do like it. I still he texted me earlier, and he's like, "Is this what the kids these days mean by drip?" <laughs> <laughs> Lost shit, <the> man. <laughs> I figured you'd be laughing. I was like, "Man, I'm ruining all my good humor on text." <laughs> and then I get on here, I just laugh for 45 minutes. Make me laugh. Wait, wait. I'm the co-host. Tell- you commented on something one day that was like, it's one guy talking for 45 minutes and the other guy giggling. <laughs> and I was like, which one is he talking about? Oh, were you giggling too? Both of us giggling <laughs> for 45 minutes. We're like little girls. We're cute. <laughs> oh. But don't call okay. Chris Hansen. Huh? Don't call Chris Hansen. <laughs> I guess it's safe if we're both little girls, right? We're just friends. Braiding each other's hair. I don't know. <laughs> Am I out of bounds here? <laughs> uh, don't laugh. Don't you laugh. Don't don't smile. Don't smile. I see that smile. Uh, I see it. Don't do it. Don't. It's not a smile. It's my curly mustache oh, making you believe it. Smile. I, was, I was mistaken. <laughs> Very much mistaken. Very much. Well, so. well how's everything else going? Uh, pretty good. I designed a poster that's going up on the merch store soon. Very cool. Do I need I'm to spend very- all my money on the merch store so you feel validated? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, you do. But uh, I like it. That way we can afford to get you a microphone. Oh, you don't like this one? I mean, I like it. It's actually pretty good for not being a professional microphone, actually. It is professional. I'm, I'm oh. a gamer. You're a professional gamer? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm horrible. It's uh, It did cost me 120 bucks, but I don't let anybody else touch it. The kids were here last weekend. I was like, don't touch Uncle John's shit. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm rocking one that's pretty cool. I love the fact that it's got a little retractable Ooh. thing 
for the voice or for the mic. Star Trek. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mine but, detaches uh, all the Oh my god, Diamond's ripped his mouth off. Psych. He's back. <laughs> But I really am proud of that little poster I made. I love because, it. Uh, dude, like, I suck at graphic design. You've seen my social media posts. Uh, You've seen the template I use for the guests and stuff. I love it. I think it's He's very not. original. Yeah, that- I have somebody, one of my friends that's coming on soon. Uh, I'll get into who that is at a different day. Um, because it's a whole story in itself. It's after um, Saturday. Yeah, it's after Saturday. Okay. And uh well I'll 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 not say who as to not um uh spoil it when it happens, but I'm very excited about them coming on the show this time. Because the last time they came on the show, they were of a different gender. Oh, huh. well, that'd be fun. We all learned something. That'd be great. So they've come out as transgender since then. And uh, I'm very excited to have her on now um, as who she feels like she is. It's not me, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I- I don't know. I, I will find out after Saturday, won't we? One of those things that Jonathan just texts me, hey, you know Diamonds is a woman, right? And then you find that through me. I didn't know that. I figured it was him coming on. Or or her. I don't know how that works now. <laughs> I try to be respectful. I, uh, I met this uh, drummer one time. I was just trying to put something together. I was like, I, I want to play. And it ended up being uh trans transgender and we met up at a bar downtown. So I like, Hey, I'm John or Ryan, excuse me. And, uh, you Very know, good. Know never heard you. I've never known your name was John before today. It's not, it's Ryan. And so Why I know the bar you? owner. Okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead. My story is not very interesting. I'm, I'm go ahead. You are the host. I'm, I'm not really interesting go <laughs> okay well all i was saying is that my friend was saying all sorts of shit about my uh social media template about it being in like three different fonts i'm like <laughs> i like it it grabs your attention they're like no the viewer wants you to they want something that's easy to process something familiar God. i'm like oh if it's familiar, they'll scroll past it. If it fucks with their brain for a second, they'll look at it. You're right. You're totally right. It, it does. It does do that. A friend of mine used to do uh, monograms. Like he did that for probably 20 years. And text bothers him, or spacing in text on signs. He'll call me. There's not enough space in that sign. Why? Why do you care? Or that that color yellow doesn't match the other color yellow. What? What, why is this important? Yeah, you know, exactly. Yes, don't scroll past stuff that messes with you. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it until it doesn't mess with you anymore. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Your OCD, the confound millennial, is not for you. No, it's for everyone. Except for, it's for everyone, audioly. But video, do not watch if you are OCD. Looking at my background will drive you nuts. <laughs> Don't send this to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should be like, we just need to sample you saying that and put that <laughs> at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> send this I, to my grandma. I remember when I got my tattoo, my grandparents do not like tattoos. And my cousins like covered them. But anyway, I didn't want to hide it or lie to them about it either. I was like, Oh my God, tattoo. Uh, (laughs) I'm trying to be honest. (laughs) And she didn't even fuss, but my, uh, my grandma figured it out because, um, she came over looking for my older brother one day 
which is weird that she would come over to my apartment looking for him because I never know where the fuck he is. <laughs> He's never at my apartment, but he happened to be there that night. The one in a hundred chance that he's there. He's there. And we both answered the door. We're shirtless. We just woke up. And my granny's like, y'all got that deuce. <laughs> Why wasn't I invited to the no shirt party? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you my tattoos. You said something about grandmas, and it made me think of this meme I saw the other day that just, um, go ahead, call the cops. They cannot unshit your grandma's cremation urn. Oh, no. I don't (laughs) understand, but (laughs) my confusion surpasses. (laughs) uh, I can't even speak. (laughs) Definitely don't send my grandma this episode. (laughs) <laughs> i got a picture of her palm the other day i think she thought she was sending me a, a picture it didn't work out <laughs> she tries she tries it's like let me uh, see that again show me that again <laughs> i still don't get it <laughs> but it has some funny words in it I think I think one of the guys that is a Seth and Willie Fred fan uh, posted that. (laughs) They've got some good fans. They got some good memes coming out of that fan base for sure. (laughs) Do you remember the peanut festival? Dude, I was going to. Okay, so here's the deal. And we can't let this episode get out there. But. Whenever they have it again, the National Peanut Festival, I have actually contacted them to set up a podcast to talk about the National Peanut Festival. (laughs) And then I'm going to bring in Seth and Willie (laughs) Fred out of nowhere. (laughs) So you're going to do an interview about the festival. And then they're coming in and they're going to cause a ruckus. Yeah. Do I need to come in behind and start finishing them all off? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know what to think when Mike Mule was like, have diamonds come in, finish them all off. Like, I'll come in in a unitard. Finish them all off. (laughs) (laughs) I was listening to it today. I was like, did did he really say that? (laughs) I love that sweet beef, though. That's a good name. It confused me at first, man. At first, I thought it was a joke. To be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. But at first, I really, I was like, "Sweet beef, is this some child messing with me?" And then I started <laughs> looking into the email, looked into the uh, Peter Duff, the first guy that he sent me with, and I was like, "Okay, this is real shit. Weird name, but I'll go is, with it." Is it a play on Sweet Leaf? I have no idea what it is. I honestly, that's like an old it. Black Sabbath thing. Anyway, I love it. I think it's amazing. Sweet, Sweet beef. beef. Speaking of beef, I've been a pescatarian for the month of May. You're a Presbyterian. No, 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 no. Yeah. Pesca- pescatarian. I'm just eating fish and vegetables. Oh. Just challenging okay. my willpower. It's tough, man. I want a steak so goddamn bad. <laughs> And get you a fish steak. No, nobody knows how to cook that stuff. Every fish I get is just dry. I don't even like it. Then learn to cook your own fish. I'll be honest. I snuck a piece of ham the other day and it wasn't good. It made me sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to eat the hell of a steak. Go back to the regular meat again. I need to, but I tell you, I've had the best solid poops this whole month (laughs) just nice like easy exit smooth right out the chute right out the chute then hit the bidet I love it love it nice and healthy I love it oh my god (laughs) I'm glad you're healthy diamonds my booty is you know what we're we're all we'd like to give a confound 
thank you to oh god don't <laughs> remove okay he didn't show it but i thought he was going to and i was like i'm gonna get taken down off youtube oh my god i'll give you a preview it looks like this <laughs> it's just like that look just per poke your lips and rub it that's it that's exactly what it feels like oh my god <laughs> i thought of another meme i don't have this one to show you and I couldn't show you if I had it, but it was a picture. Uh, it was a cartoon drawing <laughs> of uh, some of a, a lady shaving. It said, "You, if you shave your coochie, you got to shave your butthole. If not, that's a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how thick it is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I lose enough by wiping. Like I feel them pulling out. You know, it's sparse. Uh -huh. Got burn, burn it off, just like that Diamante lady was saying. You know, oh my on. God. that was so hilarious, dude. I, I'm hip. What the hell <laughs> was that? that That's was that chick with the blue hair. hair. No, I mean, uh, I think it oh, was oh. a guy from Hinder. Maybe I don't remember. I think it might have been. She's like getting on the tour bus and he's like, watch this. Yeah. That is nuts on fire. <laughs> so since I watched that, I tried that. I didn't use fuel, but I did use a lighter. That hair is a little thicker. Like it ended up just like melting and it smelled horrible. It was bad. Did you really try this? For views. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> do I need to do it on the camera so people click? <laughs> no, you don't have to. Okay. I'll take a picture next time and send it to you privately. Okay. Be sure to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the house smelled horrible. I'll just tell you that much. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I think you'd have to do it very often so it wouldn't do that. That mm -mm. Yeah, I was like experimenting. I watched the episode or I listened to the episode. I wanted to see what was going on. See, is this real? Can you do this? Instead of you know, I didn't think oh. I needed a "don't try this at home" disclaimer <laughs> for that episode, especially for a forty-year-old. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a great idea. Let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he, if that guy does it all the time, why can't I? <laughs> uh, I think if you used a fuel, it might work better, but it'd be harder to put out. But hey, don't try this at home, kids. And if you're a kid listening to this, uh, you probably need to call some kind of help. <laughs> a therapist. A therapist. Get a therapist. That's healthy. You'll remember us in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might start therapy. <laughs> I do therapy. Uh, I think they should do therapy. I don't think it's bad. I've been to counseling since I was five. Counseling and therapy and psychologists and whatever. Uh, I saw a psychologist for the first time this morning, actually. They want to write a prescription for you all the time. Oh, well, I can fix that. Mm. Well, be true. There you go. That'll fix you. Like, oh, come on. I didn't tell you what the fuck medication I was on. How do you know, Diamonds? I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> we have a connection. But uh, <laughs> no, like we're trying to we're trying to get me on less because I'm on like ten right now. Well, mm -hmm. we're trying I, to get it down to where we got it more under control with less medication. You know? Yeah. Well, they put me on so many things, and finally, I was like, I'm done taking this stuff. I flushed it. You know, I don't live next to the beach, so it went into my septic tank, not the ocean. And uh, I hadn't taken anything since. Yeah, well, I, I take Adderall. That's about it. Hmm. I'm sorry. I used to pump septic tanks. <laughs> I that think we've talked thing. about this before. I, uh, you know, there was one time I was in a septic tank. It was only five foot tall. I'm five eight, so I was crouched down, and there was a blockage in the pipe, and I had a rod. 
And I was like, I looked up and I was like, when I yell go, you get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I rammed it through. I'm like, go. And they grab my arms and just <laughs> lift me up and it comes flooding. Pressing the corn off. <laughs> it was just like, I don't know. It felt like life or death situation in that moment. It was, it was the rush of adrenaline. My well, friend, it's a horrible smell, but you kind of get used to it. You know, I've, I've smelled some horrible, horrible things. smell, but the smell of money is oh. so either. I do that when I walk I into a house the first time. I go, I can smell German roaches. I don't say that out loud, but I'm like. Let me inspect and make sure we're doing the proper service. And then I get the flashlight out. And I could smell them. It's like sweet, sweet poop smell. It, that's a bad description. It's horrible. But sweet poop smell. It definitely smells sweet, but it's not a good sweet that you'd want to lick. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine we could go other places with this, but we're not going there. I want to l- 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 lick you. Ver- Sorry. <laughs> well, <My bad. laughs> Mr. Diamonds, yeah. this has been a uh, bonus episode, and I don't know how much more off the wall we could get the bonus this episode. Saturday. So I just wanted to keep it short, sweet, to the point. You know, wanted to update everybody. Uh, check out the home teams episode check out the confound gathering check out our merch store check out diamonds nipples and uh <laughs> other than that was that your last words yeah don't laugh and this has been the confound <laughs> 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 Love you, brother. <laughs> and this has been the Confound Millennial, starring Stephen Sturvin Michaels and Ryan Diamond. <laughs> <laughs>